Okay, so the program has opened up. We've connected the Ethernet cable to the back of the PC. So let's just hit the on and just see what happens. Nothing there. Ah, here goes. Click allow. We can't hear anything, but we can see something. So let's change the mode, which is up here, LSB. Just change that. Now we shall go into the setup, top left. So at the top left, we're seeing the word setup. If you've never used this before, like me, and go to audio. I've watched a couple of videos. So general, we're on the Herms light, aren't we? Yeah. So flip that across, and then we go to audio. And I've learned that if we enable the VAC one here, we start to hear, as you can tell, which is good. Um, we've got this trace here as well. Let's see if we can find some activity a minute. And then we'll start to learn. So I'm just swiping across to where I know there'll be more activity. Let's have a look. Is that the volume? Well, that's not changing the volume. I notice we've got ADC1 overload. Right, it's been the ADC just above. I want to find some activity. The red line is where we are, so... Oh, you can change the bandwidth just by... See that? Just clicking there. Got this warning on the right here to do with CW. I can hear some activity there. Let's turn it up a bit. Oh, it's full blast there. Let's just go... That's your AGC. You've got driver. We're not going to transmit. You've got attenuation. AGC there, squelch, pan, oh look at that, okay, zoom as well, mic compression vox, volume, finally, and there's two volumes because we've got two antennas, we've only got one antenna connected on the RF1 for now, so it's definitely working. It's about as loud as I can get it at the moment, but probably be able to go into audio settings, but let's just have a little look around. We've got no snazzy backgrounds at the moment. RF, RXA1AF. How do we get rid of the ADC1 overload? You've seen our signal meter there. Forward power, we're not doing that at the moment it actually says VHF here I'm not sure how that would work VAR1 can we just turn that off oh look at that well that was a lot easier on the ears oh we can adjust the shift there Vox, comp, mic, pan. Now if I just click, it's not changing the frequency, so how do we do that? Look at all these settings. It's like... So much to learn. Region, let's change that to United Kingdom. Apply, click OK. Buffer size. Display. DSP. Transmit. Move it over here. Put it here, the settings, so you can still see the screen. But in theory, we can transmit. Make sure you're not missing the top there. Yeah, just see if I can bring it down a bit. 
Station calling secure on 40. So you can add a board that will give you an audio out connector to the Herms Light 2. I haven't got any additional components on this one, but I do have them coming. And when they do, we'll install them in a video. About 200 odd pounds. All right, keep looking at the settings. PA. Default is Herms Light. Appearance. You can change all the colours of everything. You can import skins. I don't know how to do that yet. Keyboard. Network. I've just plugged it into my PC and it just worked. So I don't know how to do it via via my if I plug it into my router then I, I'm sure I could probably access it anywhere in the house or even abroad but we need to learn all that We've got digi modes here 10 meters, 40 meters, 20 meters. There's 20 USB. Well, that's a bit louder. That's actually more, feels more responsive. The idea is that this software takes out a lot of the noise that you would get. And it's com completely customizable. Someone show me how to do the ADC overload thing. It's flashing, why don't I uh, change that? Clicking all these zoom settings. Transmit profile, don't know what that is. Receive equalizer, transmit, TX filter. Bit wider there. And this antenna, it's not great on 20 really. Oh, there is someone there. Where's the noise blanker? I know it has one. Bit of a hum there. And you've got different NR levels. Not pan four. What's this? Spectrum. Oh, you can really change scope. Waterfall. Instagram, Pam, Paul, that's probably the one that works. We're sitting there. Bring it across. Now, I don't know how it works with FT8. That sounds good. Got the tune object. Oh, it actually clicked, but there's not, there isn't a built in tuner in this, is there? If there is, let me know. But it definitely clicked. In, well, I'm guessing it just clicked into transmit, didn't it? And I'll just quickly, just briefly press it. Well, don't forget, this is like a £250 device. 
We need to import some skins, don't we? There's tuning step. Might change that. I go plus. Yeah, I can, I can scroll with my mouse. Oh, I've lost it there, haven't I? That's a shame, but that was a good one, wasn't it? Right, I'm scrolling on my mouse now, it's definitely good. Big one there. Remove that across. So I think that's enough for now. We got it working, we need to learn more, you got the drive here. Just show it TXing. No, it's not going to TX there. I thought it might be there, but no. We've got a play and a record here. Um, anyone see a TX button? I'm blind, of course. Two monitor mocks TX. No, I can't see the TX. <laughs> It lets me highlight it. I wonder if it would do, du you know, dual receive. Like with one antenna, instead of having to populate both antennas. Back to 40, LSB. See the way it's quiet on 40? So why? What have I got set wrong? Is it the AGC? Could be. Alright, bye for now, 7-3. Interesting.